Hello, it's Helder here. And today I wanna to go over 10 reasons or benefits why you should get started with rucking. Now, I don't know if it's uh, the pandemic or what's going on these days, but when I do log on to social media, I see many people participating in rucking activities and even leading ruck, uh, rucking activities. And many of these people for the first time. So uh, I find that kind of cool that people are understanding that there's a lot of things that you can gain and a lot of benefits from rucking. So anyway, let's get started. Getting out into nature. So from doctors to health gurus, we're always hearing that we should be outdoors more and enjoying nature, the sights, the smells, and even the taste in the air. Well, with rucking, you pretty much don't have a choice. It's going to get you out there or you're not going to be participating in the activity of rucking. Mental and physical health. Well, let's face it, rucking is challenging. So whether you're looking for weight loss, endurance, strength, rucking will give you all of that. On uh, top of it, the mental clarity, because you have to have focus. You have to have your intestinal fortitude from within to be able to accomplish your goal, whether it's a mini goal that you have for that day or whether it's a bigger event and a goal that you set for yourself later on down the, day, uh, down the road where you really do need to train for it. And once again, you're going to need to have your physical processes working for you as well as your mental ones. And rucking does have a way of bringing that out, trust me. Anyone can do it. Let's face it, you need a pack, you need some weight in that pack, and you need to get out there and walk. Now, of course, there's better ways to do it and techniques and so on and so forth, but just in general, it's not intimidating because anyone can get out there and do it. There's no special technique. There's no added uh, uh, tools that might be intimidating, uh, resistance, weights, bands, uh, things of that nature. So uh, when it does come to, to that, and it's also uh, adaptable. So if you're getting out there right off the couch for the first time, all you have to do is use less weight in your pack or less time or less distance. And you could also reverse that if you need to make it more challenging. Camaraderie, getting out there with like-minded individuals. We all have goals. A lot of times it's tough to get that workout partner or family member to get out there with you and help participate in these goals. And what's cool about rucking is there's rucking clubs all over the place uh, with uh, different niches. Some are military oriented, other nature lover oriented. So there's many, many things to choose from as far as groups to be able to get out there and interact with people. Uh, as I stated earlier, like-minded people, people with the same focus, people with the same goals. So just the fact that you're able to interact with these people in an activity such as rucking, once again, great feature. Rucking is efficient and flexible. So what do I mean by that? Kind of going back to how rucking is uh, pretty much anyone can do it. Well, when it comes to its flexibility, let's say you don't have enough time and maybe you can only get out there for a mile. Okay, great. Well, let's put extra weight in the pack and let's go out much, much faster because we didn't really have that much time. So anybody that complains about, well, I only have like a half hour. How am I going to go out there and do this rock? I need two or three hours. Not really. Just shorter distance, no problem. Heavier weight, faster time. And then, of course, you could always reverse that when you need more of a challenge. And you might say, hey, I got four hours today. You know what? I'm really going to step it out. So I might use lighter weight and maybe go at a little bit of a slower distance. But I'm probably going to go five times more or double or triple the distance that I normally go. So flexibility, thumbs up. Rucking makes you preparedness and survival ready. So many people out there love to get their different gear for survival and stage their go bags and their packs. Well, the great thing about rucking is you could actually utilize those tools now, put them on your back for all of these other benefits, but at the same time, you're actually getting prepared because if something really did happen and uh, shit were to hit the fan, guess what? Most likely you're gonna have to go out there and ruck with whatever gear you have and most likely a lot heavier than probably what you're used to rucking because you're trying to bring everything in the kitchen sink because you don't know what's about to happen, correct? Perfect activity with your dog. Now we need to take our dogs for walks. They need exercise. They need it mentally. They need it physically pretty much for the same reasons that we do. And I could speak for a couple of my friends and even myself at times. We get a little lazy. We don't want to get out there. And even though we know, we know the dog needs it, maybe we'll just go in the back, throw the ball around or whatever. Well, guess what? Now you have an activity that not only is gonna be super beneficial for you, but also for your dog. And uh, for me, it also holds me accountable. So a lot of times where I'm like, ah, I don't really feel like doing that. It's cold, it's rainy, it's whatever the case may be. 
I look at my dog and say, you know what, I'm not going to do it for me, but I'm going to do it for him. So it kind of works both ways. Super great for you, super great for your dog. Exploring new areas. Now this could be local or of course areas that you maybe you've never been to before. But you might drive by the same place a hundred times a month. Uh, you may uh, have grown up in the area and just really, really never walk those paths or ruck those paths. And now by having this excuse to go out there and ruck, you're going to see things in your own neighborhood and probably on your own street that you never even knew was there. And meanwhile, you might be living in the same area for decades. And uh, it's kind of cool to be able to explore and uh, find new things even just in your own neighborhood. And it never ceases. We, I do a lot of local rucks because of convenience. And every time we're out there, I'll bring local people with me. And we'll pass by something, and sure enough, I never knew this was here. Did they just build this? And it's like, no, nah, from what I hear, it's been here about 50 years. So, uh, once again, exploring new things keeps your mind working, keeps everything focused, all of your senses working, and at the same time, still maintaining that goal of uh, going on this ruck. Rucking is patriotic. Uh, if you think about it, rucking really uh, came about because of the military, and uh, many of us veterans, even non-veterans, just uh, patriots, let's say, we'll ruck out there and we'll ruck with an American flag. So now everybody that is passing us on these two, three, four, five hour rucks are seeing the American flag and it's reminding them. So what I like to call it is we're, we're pretty much ambassadors while we're out there. We're focusing on what's important, especially in today's day and age with all the craziness that's going on. Uh, people do appreciate seeing a bit of patriotism and rucking definitely, definitely exploits that. And finally, you can earn rewards, get rewarded, earn patches. There's many different organizations out there from GORUCK to many other ones, even within my Warrior Zero projects, we have patches that you can earn. And you'll go out there on these certain events and be able to get them. And they're usually tactical type Velcro patches that you can throw right on your ruck. And uh, once again, it's motivation. Uh, many of us prefer rewards and being rewarded for certain things. And the same way that uh, running a marathon or a half marathon or a 5K and wanting to get that medal at the end, same goes, uh, holds true, let's say, for rucking and being able to earn these rewards so you're always working towards something. And some people need that extra motivation. Uh, they're very goal-oriented, but they like that little reward. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, very similar, similar to that on many ends. And uh, at the same time, who cares as long as it gets you out there doing the work. Right? Whatever it takes, whether it's a dog, whether it's a patch, whatever, whether it's your friends, whether it's the beer at the end, whatever, just get out there. And that's what these benefits are all about. And that's what the whole purpose of this video is about, for me to explain these things to you, share them with you. Once again, through my eyes, other people are going to have other benefits and other features, and that's all great. But I wanted to explain to you what I've learned uh, about rucking, let's say, over the last few decades. And uh, hopefully... With this video, with this information, I enticed you enough to get out there and try rucking. And if you haven't rucked before, or you have rucked before, then hopefully you'll get enough motivation to get out there and do it again and bring some other people with you. It's an excellent activity. It's a very beneficial activity. And uh, if you haven't tried it, get out there and try it. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this briefing.